Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. In this video, we're going to learn how to insert files with Data Loader. This process is specifically useful when inserting a large number of files into an org. This is usually used when migrating files from one org to another or adding a mass number of files to records. The first step is to create a CSV with the following columns. Title, which is the file name. Description of the file or link. Version data, which is required, is the complete path to the file you're uploading from your local machine or drive, such as the one shown here on screen. Path on client, which is required, is the complete path to the file you're uploading from your local machine or drive. First, publish location ID, which is optional. If you are only relating the file to a single record in Salesforce, populate this with the related record's ID. This automatically creates a content document link to associate the file to the related record. It's best to populate this field so the file is associated. For this example, I'll set an ID. Next, I'll associate two of these four files to the account object. Therefore, I'll export the IDs from the account object via data loader. Next, I'll manually add the account IDs into the first publish location ID column for each line item in the CSV and save the file. If there's a large number of files to be inserted, then a VLOOKUP can match the records between the CSV insert file and the account export file. We put a link to this VLOOKUP video in the short description for you. Next, open the data loader, click on Settings, click on Settings again, and set the batch size as 1. Click OK. Select Insert. Enter credentials. Click Login. Click Next. Select Show All Salesforce Objects. And select Content Version. On the same page, click Browse and add the report CSV file. Click Next and OK. Click Create or Edit a Map. And the Mapping dialog box will appear. Click Auto Match Fields to Columns. The column names should match up if entered correctly. If not, then drag the fields down to the column mapping. Click OK once done, and click Next. Select a place where to save the success and error files which can be easily accessed. Click Finish and Yes to proceed. A dialog box will appear with the number of successes and errors. Log into the org, go to the account, and notice that the two files have been created. If the first published location ID was not set in the first file, then there's another process to associate the file to a related record. Use the data loader to export the content version object to get the content document ID for the files. Create a CSV with the following columns. Linked entity ID, which is required. This is the ID of the related record that the file is associated with, such as accounts or opportunities. Content document ID, which is required, is the content document ID from the exported content version file that starts with 069. Share type is required. This is the permissions granted to the user. For more information on valid values, review the link on the bottom of the screen. We've also put this link in the short description of this video for you. Visibility, which is optional. This specifies whether this file is available to all users, internal users, or shared user. Add the content document IDs that need to be updated in the CSV. 
reuse the account object export ID file that was used previously. Next, manually add the account IDs from the export file into the linked entity ID column for each line item in the new CSV. Fill in all the values for each record listed and save the file. Insert into the data loader through the content document link object and map the Salesforce fields to the columns in your file. Go back to the account record and the two files are visible. Keep in mind that in order to follow these steps, you'll need system administrator permissions. If you're interested in inserting files via data loader and do not have those permissions, please contact your system administrator for assistance. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.